Hey everyone, and welcome back to my channel. This is episode seven, Over the Rise. When Shane arrives to stay for the summer, Tim tries to impress all three of his kids with a really cool Western day trip. Which, as we know, he thinks it's gonna be really cool. The kids are probably gonna think it's lame, or if anyone thinks it's gonna be lame, it's gonna be Shane. But I like the idea that he's trying to do something like that, you know, to kind of get all three of the kids. Because, you know, obviously all three are innocent. And they all seem to kind of embrace one another. Like in the last episode that Shane was in, we saw that he got a space on like the naming wall by their fireplace, you know, they gave him a brick. So... You know, I like that they seem to want to make it work with him. And so I think that that's going to be definitely be a help. And he's going to start to feel, I think, like part of the family. So let's get started. credit for trying, I mean, yeah, he's not seven, but still. I doubled his trophy. Peter's way. Where is he? Hey, Tim, where's Shane? Not by car. Yeah, for hope. Okay. That's what I was thinking. Hey, uh, this is... Come on. Oh, Lord. <laughs> Apparently the guy has like no surface here. Tim is trying, you know? Give him credit where credit is due. He's trying. And a lot of times there needs to be a give and take, you know? A lot of times there needs to be like, all right, he's trying, which he is, so let's give it to him and give him something back, you know, take it, but then give him something back too. So yeah, I think, I think things are going to be okay. Like I said, at least Tim is trying. I think that helps. Um, and Caleb, I think he's being destructive on purpose. 
I don't know if he feels being destructive will bring Ashley back or if he's being destructive because of the fact that they're separated. You know, I'm sure he'll probably explain because I'm worried he's going to get hurt and then he might spiral down like what he did in like the third season when he broke his leg and stuff and spiraled down with drugs and alcohol. I'm worried about that. Keep going. Yeah. Must be the old set. Right? Uh -huh. <laughs> Wouldn't it still technically be private property? It's okay, Lou. Jesus Christ. Let go of the reins. Jesus Especially since she's become a mother. She's one of those obsessive mothers. She reminds me a lot of Rachel Virgin from Friends. I always thought Rachel was so damn annoying when she became a mother. And Lou is the same way. It's like, chill the fuck out. You know, like, again, you should trust Mallory, but obviously she has a camera because doesn't or yeah it could be that she's using it to check on the baby too but again like Mallory said it's a nanny cam pretty much probably how Jack didn't really know what she was talking about and I'm just like it's okay just chill the fuck out I'm sure that there are some mothers out there who are completely chill when it comes to stuff like that. And then, of course, you've got, again, like, the obsessive ones, like Lou. Like, hopefully, when Amy has a child, she won't be like that. Hopefully, she will be more laid back. And maybe Lou will start to become a little more chill, which I hope she does, because I would not blame Peter at all if he served her with divorce papers. I probably would, too, if she's been because I'd be like, lady, I cannot handle you. You are. It seems like that happens sometimes with characters that, well, and people in general, that they lose, like, all sense of common sense <laughs> when they become parents, you know. And I get it, you know, she didn't have receptions, so she thinks something else. But it's like, even if, Katie was sick. Jack is there. So Jack would be able to take care of her. Even if Mallory can handle it. It's not like Mallory's alone. Jack is there. I said we're staying the night, Grandpa. <laughs> there is no secret. I'm just surprised. You surprised to find out that he had a sister, but I think Jack isn't exactly happy about the name. What was that? I don't know. They rarely eat. <laughs> no, I think I just saw something outside. So, I like how he's like, you called me dad. You know, and I like how they're all like, dad, dad. And it's like, you know, you guys could have said something too. I mean, Grand, maybe it was a ghost, but you could have been like, hello, or something. Maybe that would have gotten Tim's attention and made him go, what? And look behind him, you know? 
know. But I like how when he touches Tim and Tim ju jumps, he's like, oh, you okay, buddy? <laughs> like, like he was actually concerned. But yeah, I was like, yeah, yeah, you guys probably shouldn't be wandering around in buildings. It is private property. He said, I'm the caretaker of the set. And I'm thinking, so they kept the set, which I'm sure does happen at times. I'm sure that there are places where they build a set and they keep it. They don't tear it down once they're done with it. Because you never know, you might use the set again or a particular building in something in the future. You don't know, you know? So I can see places, yeah, where they keep sets up all the time. Morning. <laughs> okay. I'm afraid I'm gonna clown up when we're face to face. Which one do you have trouble expressing yourself? <laughs> Mallory at all for being upset and she was exactly right about Lou being you know, attentive, micromanaging, obsessive compulsive. You know, I mean good luck Peter. I really hope that they last. And like I said, good luck Katie. Katie doesn't stand a chance. But you know, I I don't blame Mallory. And you know, she was really hurt by that. I mean, of course, things will be okay and Mallory will probably still continue to babysit. But, like, yeah, I don't blame her. I don't blame her one bit. I, I would be upset too if, if that happened. And I know nowadays when people do babysit and stuff, or even just house sit, you know, pet sit, yeah, there are cameras. I mean, we've got cameras in our house. And, but there's a difference between like doing that and spying on every little thing, you know? Like I could see Heartland installing cameras at some point, especially down at the View Ranch. That probably would be a good idea, you know, to have a couple of cameras in the cabin just to make sure no one destroys anything. And then of course outside, you're too, to protect the outside. And maybe that is something that happened. Yeah. No thanks or anything. She looks fine. What are you talking about? <laughs> no. It was a gift. One of those stupid name cams. <laughs> People are so paranoid. I would never use one of these for a kid. You just love them. Mini cam, huh? <laughs> hey, I wonder how it works. There's a, a record button. I should see if there's anything I can do with it. No, <laughs> I mean, let me, I can just download it on your laptop. I can just put it to know. You've had a long trip. <laughs> Seriously, I can just edit all the good bits together. Please leave a mini cam on here. Really? Well, I mean, Mallory's not wrong. Oh. oh. And, uh, thank you. Maybe loosen the ring a bit, don't micromanage so much. I mean, if I were Mallory, I would probably like flip the giant egg. Man bear. It comes out of the darkness. A man bear. <laughs> what is a man bear? Okay. It was more like a really hairy black guy. <laughs> Mary thinks his dad's cool. 
through a lot of rifles that used to not buy them. They were all in there. Shane at the end there kind of thought his dad was kind of cool when he was hearing about the gunshot. And yeah, hopefully Tim tells it correctly and doesn't like embellish it too much, you know, that he basically stepped in front of a bullet that was meant for Amy and got shot. But, you know, I like that we've got Shane in here. I think he's going to be a great addition and hopefully we will continue to see her or to see him excuse me um, I think we will I think he might stick around through the rest of the seasons it was neat how they introduced him like at the end of season four as he was kind of like the preview for season five you know he was kind of because it seems like when you get near the end of the season, they start to kind of give you a little bit of a tidbit of what the next season is going to be like. So obviously Shane was in season four, he was the tidbit into season five. So I like that things seem to be okay on the men. And, you know, Tim was saying there about how Shane and Amy get along, and I'm thinking, yeah, but you also have to remember that they're both siblings, you know? Yeah, he might be a little upset about the fact that Amy and Lou had their dad in their life, but Tim honestly did not know about Shane. Shane knew of his dad, or a dad, but he did not know. So, you know, in a way, you gotta give Slide. And the whole thing about taking that trip, it's like, at least he's trying, you know? Like, everyone is just acting horribly, and I'm like, give the guy a break. You know? He's trying, and that's what counts. And then, you know, Lou was saying that she would never use a nanny cam. And I'm thinking, really? You are obsessive and micromanaging and stuff, you know, I mean, everything Mallory said was spot on. And I kind of wish that Lou would watch it because she could have spoken to Mallory and said, I do think of you as family and I never would use this. But I also kind of think she could have told her about it being a nanny cam ahead of time, you know, because like she'd shown the doll and then he found out it was the nanny cam. And thinking, you couldn't mention that before. Just said, you know, yeah, this was a nanny cam, but I would never use it as one because I mean, that's silly and blah, blah, blah. But, but Lou needs to definitely let go. What happened? Probably not. But Thank you for joining me for episode seven of Heartland. I'm gonna start episode eight here. It looks like it's gonna be Ty and Mrs. Bell, so it'll be fun to watch. Hit the like button and subscribe for more content. If you are watching this on Rumble, head over to YouTube to get the views up there. And if you are watching this on YouTube, head over to Rumble to get the views up there. I'd like to see if you get the views on both. Hit the notification bell on YouTube to be alerted of future reacts, both for Heartland and other stuff. Shout out to my editor, Captain Factory. Thank you so much for all of your hard work. You know, I truly appreciate you. You can find her link in the description below. I will see you next time. Bye.